everybody. It's Will here again. Hope everybody is doing well. And today, I'm stoked to get to bring you an overview and demo of this Paul Reed Smith McCarty from 2016, graciously lent to me by my guitar student, Ken, for the purposes of these videos. Hope you dig. Thanks as well to all of the new subscribers and supporters of the channel as part of this new series. I really appreciate you all, all the great comments, engagement, feedback. It's all wonderful, and uh, keep it coming, and we'll see how 2020 carries on. So cheers, y'all. Let's dig into the McCarty. The PRS McCarty came out originally uh, as an augmentation of P Paul's line in the I want to say mid-90s. I believe discussions for the guitar started probably around 1990 or 91 between Paul Reed Smith and the great guitarist David Grissom. David was looking for an instrument um, that was more vintage, kind of like I think his reference point was he wanted a guitar that sounded like the Allman Brothers live at the Fillmore. And at the time, David was playing, I believe, PRS Standard or PRS Custom which was the 24 fret guitar with the thinner body, the hotter vintage bass and HFS pickups, and probably even still the rotary switch. So eventually they started prototyping an instrument that was a little more vintage in its uh, features. You had the thicker mahogany body with the maple top, beautiful figured maple top. You had a mahogany neck with uh, rosewood fingerboard and the moon inlays at the time. You had regular Cluson style tuners as opposed to locking tuners. You had a single piece wrap tail bridge that did not have individual adjustment for intonation. And at the time you had what were called the McCarty pickups. Again, more of a, in the vein of maybe a, like a PAF or something like that when compared to the hotter pickups that Paul Reed Smith was using at the time. Additionally, instead of the five-way rotary, you had a three-way toggle and um, sometimes a coil split function on the tone knob. So the guitar was, I guess, headed towards being a Grissom model, really, but when Ted, or when, sorry, when Paul saw the guitar and all of the features that it had, it put him in mind of Ted McCarty. By this point in the life of PRS, Ted and Paul had become connected and Ted was actually starting to do some consulting work for Paul Reed Smith in the 90s and lend his opinion. So when Paul saw the guitar, he said he wanted to name it the McCarty model as a tribute to one of his heroes and mentors, Ted McCarty. Ted approved it and in about 1994, the model was put into production alongside the PRS customs and standards of the time. And it was made in the original form into the mid to late 2000s when it was subsequently discontinued and then reissued again in 2016, which is what this guitar is. Now this particular one, it retains a lot of the genesis of the original McCarty. It's just fancier and more evolved. You still again have the thicker mahogany body, beautiful uh, piece of mahogany there. The, with the maple top, this one is finished in black gold burst. And uh, this one's also a 10 top as well. This particular one has a solid rosewood neck. Uh, the originals would have been a mahogany neck. The fingerboard on this is bound and has the bird inlays where the originals mostly had moons. Uh, the fingerboard on this, the specs online all say rosewood, but to my eye, this looks a lot more like ebony, so it's hard to say. Uh, for the newer models, they've gone to the PRS Phase 3 locking tuners, which are an excellent locking tuner. They're uh, really durable and well-engineered. They've retained the wrap tail style bridge, but they've uh, um, allowed for individual intonation adjustment per string. Still have the volume and tone with the coil split and the three-way switch. And the pickups in this model are the 5815s, which is a reimagining of a 1958 pickup design uh, reimagined by PRS engineers in 2015, hence 5815 for the pickup name. It's an absolutely beautiful guitar. Interestingly, to talk about David Grissom, uh, 
he went on to play the McCartys and then later had a McCarty. They called it a McCarty with tremolo. And then years later, they made a Grissom model guitar, which was basically a McCarty with a, again, they call it tremolo. It's a vibrato unit. And it had two volume controls uh, for each pickup as opposed to one master. And I actually, for many years, my main guitar was a gold top Paul Reed Smith Grissom model. They're fantastic chameleon type instruments. The McCarty line uh, is probably my personal favorite in the PRS world because I'm a bit of a vintage guitar fan as far as design and implementation. So this is as kind of vintage as PRS gets. But this thing is also a work of art. I mean, the figuring on that top, even the beauty, the nice contrasting brown colors there between the back stain and the rosewood neck. This is a really silky smooth rosewood neck. This has the pattern neck profile, which is a fairly round and full size. Uh, they offer several different patterns depending on what model of guitar is being made, but this is very, uh, just round and full in the hand, very comfortable. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to listen to this discussion portion. And again, special thanks to my guitar student, Ken, for letting me show this to you guys on camera. And let's get into some sound samples of the 2016 Paul Reed Smith McCarty. Cheers. <laughs>